Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about the displacement approximation modifier in 3D Studio Max. Now, what exactly the displacement approximation do? Now, by the name, you can easily understand that it's uh, really connected with the displacement mapping system. So, what is a displacement map? Uh, under the uh, material editor, uh, in the map section, you can see this displacement slot. So, if I put some uh, black and white material like cellular or checker or dent, whatever you want, you can use your custom uh, maps also. Then you will see uh, the distortion is actually happening. But uh, if you hit uh, apply this material to this plane and you hit render, you'll see nothing is happening in this sc on the scan line view. If we change the uh, the renderer settings to mental ray you can see that uh, the displacement is actually calculating uh, you can see this uh, displacement is happening because mental ray doesn't need any kind of modifier or, or anything to to go, uh, calculate the displacement but whenever you are using the uh, default scanline renderer you can uh, you can see there is no effect in this plane now for creating this effect you need to use this displacement modifier now <coughs> just uh, hit D and you can see this displacement approximation modifier this approx so use this display appro approx modifier and if you hit render immediately you can see there is a effect is happening of the displacement and you can see the outline is actually happening so uh, what is the displacement uh, a approximation does this first option is subdivisional displacement. Now, what is subdivisional displacement? Subdivisional displacement, even without uh, subdivisional displacement, if you hit render, still uh, the displacement hap happening, but in a very very low format. Now, by applying the displacement approximation, it's actually taking the details, uh, the uh, vertex details of this uh, plane, the primitives, which is uh, four by four. Now, if I increase this to at least for 30 by 30, now you can see uh, something is going to change uh, the details. Now, I still didn't use the subdivisional displacement. Now, how it, uh, it will do? I'll just again uh, reduce this uh, to 4 by 4 and go to the displacement and hit again render. You can see this is very low, very, very rough, nothing almost if I hit the sub, uh, subdivisional displacement it actually what is actually doing is actually calculating uh, the displacement at, at the time of the rendering it's actually subdividing the surface in uh, uh, multiply the uh, subdivisions at the time of rendering not affecting your scene you can, if you see it's a f4 you can see that still there is a 4 by 4 and if you hit subdivisional displacement and hit render and you can see immediately that the subdivision has already been happened but still my scene is very light and uh, in the uh, subdivisional displacement that subdivision presets I can use low medium or high if you see if you hit low and render you'll see the, this uh, uh, low range of uh, subdivision if you hit medium you can see this and if you hit high you can see really details happening even you can uh, change the subdivision method into regular, spatial, curvature, spatial and curvature. What is, what is these things? Regular is a directly division. So I mean just uh, steps are actually, these uh, faces are actually multiplying the subdivisions like two. If I hit, hit uh, render, you can see uh, draw is actually multiplying by two. And after that, if I hit five, the each and every face will be multiplying divided by into multiplying by five. So if you render, you can see it's really detailing is happening. Uh, it's a very straight, uh, straightforward uh, calculation. And there is another one. This is partial, and you can see this. Uh, the curvature is completely different. And I can use the curvature, whereas the uh, the coverage details in the in the in the curves are actually happening very nice. You can see this very, very smooth peaks and others. And if I hit special and coverage, it will give you a, a, a almost similar kind of uh, results uh, by combining the special and and curvature. And you can uh, even uh, you know uh, the you can see the the edges. You can uh, uh, edges and angle the bending angles. You can control through the 
through the options like uh, angle and edge in the spatial and curvature options you can see there's a uh, we're losing the uh, uh, the angle over here and if I increase the angle value and if you render you can see the the <coughs> angle of the deformation is uh, really been calculating in 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 such a way that we can control it so these are the uh, this is the submission method there is a one uh, single another uh, very important thing which is a split mesh option over here now what is split mesh option do now if I delete this object and if I go to a create a box over here and I just uh, create a material over here and fit render. It's nice. Fine. Now in this material, I'm again uh, using the displacement map as cellular. The same thing. But if you hit here and if you hit render, oops, sorry. I need to use the dis displacement approximation. Displacement approximation. And I'll just uh, use medium or maybe high, okay, no problem. And I use regular two steps. And if you hit render, you can see, oops, sorry, this is four, let's say. And you can see it's actually pushing the each and every individual mesh. I mean, the faces are it's not it's not merged. So uh, if I hit uh, and the render option. If I go to the force to side and hit render, you can see I can see the both ways. So John, you can see it's actually pushing the individual faces outside. Now, why this is happening? Because of the displacement. Because displacement is actually calculating the white portion, the white part, to push outside rather than the inside. So I can control this by split mesh. Now, if I hit the split mesh off, it's not actually splitting the mesh. It will you can see this is this is actually how how actually they they do so the outline is actually distorting but the uh, the image which is uh, uh, has been incorporated which uh, in the in the in the as a texture it's actually properly been uh, you know mapped and uh, preserved so that is a very important thing uh, whenever where when you are using split mesh on or off it depends now if you hit the split mesh you can see it's a really nice detailing on the edges also because uh, these uh, these edges uh, will not going to you know uh, deform when you switch off the split mesh but yes definitely if it is not the uh, the the curvature is too much then uh, definitely acute like acute angles and 90 degree then uh, uh, the push pushing outward will happen and, uh, and that that can you know really lose your model so it really depends uh, how you are going to use the split mesh option so uh, this is uh, all about the displacement approximation hope you enjoy this thank you very much